hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ajua and I'm super excited to bring you this one who thought we needed another flanker of Yara they are already two flankers the OG and the Yara Moa I will not even consider Assad as a flanker because that is a difference you know um, a name you know altogether I guess that is in the same package so this one is a flanker of the Yara you know line and this one is known as Yara Tous, T O U S, which means all in French. So Yara moi, which means or um, Yara me, and then this one is Yara or. So it, it was like uh, it's not an indication that this one is a combination of the Yara moi and the OG. You know, I was like, is that a combination of those two fragrances? But when I looked for the note structure, I found something quite different, and this includes the top notes, um, peach, amber, and uh, musk. And then the middle notes are sandalwood and cloves and the uh, base notes are floral notes, tropical notes and pineapple. So it is quite different from the other two, the Yara OG and the Yara Moa. I think the only thing that this one shares with um, the Yara Moa is the, the peach, you know, um, the peach notes. However, this one is quite different. It is not as you no know, cookie dough, lactonic, coconutty sort of vibe that you get in Yara Moa. It is quite different. This one gives you that sort of um, tropical, you know, vibes to it. But it is also not as tropical as the um, OG Yara, you know, the one that is um, supposedly has the, the, the strawberry. That one is more tropical than this one. This one is supposed to give you some pineapple and some cloves and some sandalwood, some amber, some peach. Yes, you get some peach, you know, as soon as you spray. And I would like to say this, the opening is not the best, you know. It is not like one of the best openings of any fragrance I have encountered. It comes off a bit alcoholic, you know. It gives you that sort of alcoholic and a bit, something a bit synthetic at the opening. But just give it like um, five seconds to settle down and then you begin to appreciate um, some of the notes that it has you can get the peach the peach you know comes through it is a bit um fizzy a bit tropical but i think the yara og which is like the strawberry milkshake you know it's more tropical than this one is it gives you that pineapple but pineapple is not like the most dominant um notes that you you get as soon as you you spray it you get the the peach yes that is quite prominent you get a bit of the woody sandalwood touch you get something spicy you know with the cloves you get something spicy especially at the opening but it's not like a super spicy fragrance at all it doesn't have any wood it doesn't have any um heavy woods to it it doesn't have like patchouli moss you know th those kind of um earthy notes it doesn't have any of it so it is quite feminine it is marketed as unisex but i think it is quite feminine it doesn't give you the stereotypical middle eastern um type fragrance this one is quite um westernized i would say it's like a, a celebrity or uh, a designer fragrance i'll consider it as a celebrity or designer fragrance which is quite mass appealing it doesn't have any vanilla no sugar no caramel so it doesn't come off as too sweet it doesn't come off you know as that's um, secondly sweet, cloying. I think this is a perfect release for the summer, you know, but because it screams summer, it's, it screams vacation, it screams tropical, it screams beach, it screams that kind of outside, we are outside, we are not doing anything inside, let's go outside, have some fun. That is what this one screams. Is it something that I would say it's super fantastic, groundbreaking, new, something that you must have? I don't think so but it's a good addition you know as an everyday girly um feminine fragrance i don't even find this one as um young and immature no to me the og yara feels a bit young and immature to me but i don't find this one as young and immature as that one that is how i see both fragrances I think it has elements of the um, Yara Moa in terms of the peach, but it doesn't have that um, lactonic, coconutty sort of vibes. It's a floral, you know, it has some floral notes, but it doesn't specify which florals exactly. All it says is floral notes and um, tropical notes. So it gives it that kind of tropical punch sort of, you know, vibes to it. The bottle reminds me of um, Halloween because of that um, mustard orange, you know, but it is nothing... <laughs> You know nothing strong and um 
how do I even put it? It's nothing strong and dense, you know. It doesn't give you that sort of heavy, you know, feel. It is quite light. It is airy. It gives you that tropical um, vibes, but it's not as tropical as Yara the OG. It doesn't give off any lactonic nuance or notes to it. There's nothing lactonic about this at all. And I believe a lot of people found the uh, Yara Moa a bit, you know, lactonic and um, did not like that one because of that creamy lactonic nature this one does not you get that peachy pineapple spicy cloves something floral something tropical fizzy about it it gives you the indication that you are you know you're outside by the beach you know and i think it is a perfect summer um, fragrance it is nothing groundbreaking it is an everyday scent I think I prefer it over the OG Yara, <laughs> you know, I prefer it much better than the OG Yara. It doesn't give me anything vavavoom, nothing sexy, nothing sultry, but I think it is quite a good one. I'll consider this video as a first impressions of this fragrance because I got it like today and I'm filming and I think I've had it on for about four hours. I can still smell it on me. It is not nothing that is like going to be room filling, super, you know, beast mode. No, but it, it stays quite, you know, it gives you, a, it creates a scent bubble around you. It is not like thing, it is not as um, quiet and as, um, gentle as the OG Yara, which I find a bit fleeting as soon as you spray. Even within the second and third hour, you can still feel, you know, smell this one. So at least the performance of this one is a little better than the OG Yara, in my opinion. So definitely I'll come up with a follow-up video, you know, to see how this one actually works after letting it sit and macerate for some time. I wouldn't say this one is like jump out of your house and just go and grab it. It is nothing, you know, groundbreaking, but it's a good, you know, addition if you just love that tropical, vacay, summer, you know, um, vibe fragrances. I also do not have any websites, you know, currently to, um, for which, from where you can get this one, because I got this one locally and I will link the vendor in the description. That is all I have for you, Yara Tus, which means all of us or all, you know, and I am sure it was trying to um, um, bring all the elements of the, the two Yaris to create something different with a spin, you know, to make this one a bit unique. And that is what they actually did. You actually get the pitch from the Yara Moi and the tropical, you know, um, essence of the Yara OG in this particular one with a bit of pineapple added in the mix so that is all i have for you and i hope this video found you well please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i would truly appreciate that thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye bye